G'day and welcome to the Tech Math channel. What I'm going to be having a look at in this video is these things called simultaneous equations. These are equations which look like this. They're a type of algebraic equation. This is in response to a question that somebody's asked me on uh, help on solving these. So hopefully it will be of some help. Well, I'm going to make a couple of videos to do with this. The first one we're going to be having a look at is just uh, some parts of the simultaneous equations. Just a couple of the terms used. I won't bog you too much down with those. Then I'm going to look at ways of solving them and just a couple of the methods used. In the second video I'm going to make, I'm going to do a bit of a shortcut method on how to solve these fairly quickly, okay? So it's it's worth, uh, if you get this part of it, following the links that I'll put up to have a look at this next uh, particular bit because it does save a bit of work. But I think it's really good first off to understand how they work. Now first off we've got two algebraic equations here and you're going to notice that First off, a couple of things about them. Algebraic equations, uh, there's a couple of things. First off, we have these letters in it. These are known as variables, so the x's here and the y's are known as variables. Uh, this goes for any algebraic equation, whether no matter whether x is y's, a's, b's, z's, or whatever. Those particular letters are called variables. And we have these particular ones, these numbers in front of the variables, called coefficients. Where we actually don't write a number in front of the variable, it's assumed to be a 1. Okay, I think that's the basics. I think that should be able to uh, start you off. So we have variables, coefficients. Okay, some variables here and some coefficients. Okay. Now, the way that we solve simultaneous equations is this. We pretty much just have to stuff around with entire equations to make the coefficients of a particular variable, say x or y, the same. An example here, say we were trying to make uh, the coefficient here the same. We might actually multiply an entire equation by 2 or 3 or 4 to make it the same as this one here. In this case, if we were to multiply this equation by 2, the whole lot of it, well, this is what we'd get. We'd end up with the following. And I'm going to just number these equations so we don't get thrown. So what we'd do is we'd do this. So I'm multiplying equation 2 by 2, okay? So I'm going to end up with this particular set of equations. Okay, we're going to end up with x times 2 is 2x plus now 3y times 2 is 6y and then 19 times 2 is 38. Okay, you good with that? Yeah, hopefully you are. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm now going to do this thing called elimination. So you're going to notice I've actually got the coefficients in front of x the same for equation 1 and equation 2. Do you notice that? Now, I might actually even uh, just rewrite equation 1 here, just to start off with. Just to, I'm not going to do this necessarily every single time, but just to, to try and let you work out what's going on. So again, equation 1, I'm just rewriting out as 2x. Uh, plus 5y equals 33, okay? Now, what we do now is we, we have these coefficients the same in front of here. We can literally start taking the coefficients off one another. Now, it's really worth at this stage having a look at the variables off from one another. And it's, uh, the way we do this is really worth having a look at the moment. You've got these two the same. Look at these variables over here now. You're going to see that this one here is bigger than this one here. So usually what I do is with this, and this is just something you got used to, get used to with it, the one that has a smaller coefficient here, you change all of these by minus uh, into minuses. I'll show you what I mean. It's the same as timesing this by minus 1. If you were to do this times this entire equation by minus 1, this would become minus 2x. This here would become, get rid of that, and it would become minus 5y. This here would become minus 33. Do you see that? Okay. Hopefully I haven't confused you too much by now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take equation 1 now from equation 2 by putting them together. So this is what we're going to end up with. 2x take away 2x is 0. See that? 2x take away 2x. So I'm putting these two equations together now. Then what we do is we go 6y take away 5y. 6y take away 5y we are left with y. Okay, positive y. Equals 38, take away 33, we end up with 5. So that's the first part of our answer. 
okay I'll write it up over here the first thing we've worked out is that y equals 5 that's the first part of our equation solved okay so I'm going to get rid of all this working out that we've done so far we've ended up with the, the first bit of information that we want that y equals 5 then what we do is we go in and we start substituting values now substituting values means that where we see this y we can pick one of these equations and we can instead of having y there we can actually make it into we can we can put 5 there instead so I'm going to do it for this number down I'm going to do it for this equation down here okay for equation 2 this is what we're going to end up with so x is still x but instead of now writing 3y we can think of this as being 3 times 5 yeah so x plus 15 equals 19. Okay, what number do you add to 15 to get 19? It's 4. Okay, so x equals 4. And that's the second part of our answer. y equals 5, x equals 4. Yeah, hopefully you get that. Hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, there is, a, an, again, an easier way of doing these. Oh, I tell you now. But I think it's really, really worth um, going through and getting these really nailed down because there are also some variants on these and it's just a good thing to have nailed down. So what about I give you another example. Alright, this might take a few examples to get used to if you're, you haven't done these before or if you struggle with these. Okay, so the next example I'm going to give you, what about this one? We have 3x plus 3y and that equals 18 and we'll have a second equation which is x plus 7y and that is going to equal 30 okay there will be a fair few examples with this but I'm going to start getting faster and faster at working these out okay and this will be an example where I start doing that we have to make again I'm going to stuff around with this this is the easiest co uh, variable to stuff around with this these are a bit yucky to, you know we can't we have to multiply it by some horrible number we're going to get to this sort of example where we do this a bit later but it's just as easy here to multiply as you might work out this equation by 3 so if we were to do that what we end up with this equation 1 this equation 2 on equation 2 what we end up with if we multiply that all by 3 is we get the following we get 3x okay because we times that by 3 plus 7 times 3 which is 21y equals and you probably worked this part out already 3 times 30 is 90 okay equation one by the way is going to stay very very similar because it's 3x plus 3y equals 18 and we're happy with that because again the coefficients here in front of this variable is now the same so we don't need to actually change it now the next thing i said is you look at the co uh, look at the variables over here coefficients in front of them this one's a smaller one so these ones we're going to multiply this equation by minus 1 okay times it by minus 1 so we're going to end up with this is a minus we're going to end up with this is a minus and we're going to end up with this is a minus okay so let's see what we end up with okay 3x take away 3x we end up with 0 21y take away 3y we end up with 18y and then 90 take away 18 we end up with the answer of 72. Okay, what number do you times by 18 to get 72? Well, hopefully you can go 72 divided by 18 and you find out the following, that y is indeed equal, I'm just going to write up over here, y equals 4. Okay, so let's rub these ones out. And... Let's now substitute in these values into one of the equations. I'm going to put it into, I think, this equation here. So for equation 1, substitute in my values. Um, 3x is going to stay the same, plus 3y. 3y, 3 times 4 is 12, and it equals 18. Now, again, I am assuming a, a bit of um, knowledge already with this, but... What we can do now is we can get rid of this 12 by taking it away. We have to take it away from this side as well. So we end up with the equation where 3x, we're taking 12 off both sides. So we take 12 
we're going to add it equals 6. Okay? And then what we get is with 3x equals 6, x equals 2. So y equals 4, x equals 2. Okay, how did you go with that? What about to go through another example? Now what I recommend with these, if you're somewhat struggling, or even if you're going okay, what you might do once I write them up, is give them a go answering yourself, and then see how you went, okay? So what about this one? This one's going to be a slightly uh, different one, because then I might have to give you a bit of a heads up on how you might do this, but you might be okay with this. 2x plus 2y, and it equals 16. And we're going to have x take 3y, and that equals 4. Now, you're going to notice here the biggest difference we've got is we have a negative sign here. We will deal with that a little bit later, okay? Again, when you get these coefficients, just make sure that one of them's in negative and one's a positive. By the way, probably x you might stuff around with on this one too. I'd, I'd go for it and give it a go. So hopefully you've, you've, so you've paused the video and you're giving it a bit of a go and you're giving it a go. Let's now solve this. So you might have got, I'm going to stuff around with this particular one here because um, you know this is easy just to multiply this entire equation by 2. So for equation 2 what we end up with is the following. Uh, multiplying it by 2 we end up with 2x take away 6y equals 8. Alright and this equation 1 stays the same. So we end up with 2x plus 2y equals 16. Okay, now you need to notice here that we are, again, we're going to change the sign here. Do you notice this? Okay, um, so let's do that. I think the easiest way to do this is to just do it like this. So we're going to take 2x plus 2y equals 16. Okay, so I think the easiest way to do this is as follows. What about we are, because you might be thinking, well, which one do we change? Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. Is I'm going to change the negative sign in front of this. So again, it's, it's a, I think it's a bit of an easy one. This is just something that comes out of the experience. Um, so let's just multiply this entire equation by minus 1. This has become minus. This becomes a plus, And this becomes a minus. Okay. 2x take away 2x is 0. Plus 2y plus 6y. Okay, we're now adding them because it's a positive and a positive. We end up with... 8y. Hey, did you get that one? Or did you, you fall for it? 16 take away 8 is 8. So 8y equals 8. Maybe you could probably guess what y is going to be. y is going to be equal to 1. Did you get that? So what we'll do is I'll rub these out and I'll do a bit of substitution. Okay, let's substitute in... Um, Let's substitute into, oh, let's, let's choose one of them. What about we choose equation uh, 2 might be the easiest one here. X take away 3Y. Okay, 3 times Y is 3. It equals 4. What number do you, if you were to actually, uh, what number do you, you know, X take away 3 equals 4. What number can you subtract uh, 3 from to get 4? X equals 7. So hopefully you're going pretty good with these. Okay, so the equation I'm going to put up now is this one. 2x take away 3y equals 0. That's going to be equation 1. And then 3x take away no, plus y equals 22. And that will be... So you get, try to give it a go. All right. So, what are we going to do? Now, to solve this equation, I'd do the following. I'd actually, this time, I'd stuff around with this particular, uh, the y here. Okay, and what you might do, actually, I'm going to do it slightly differently. You could times this by 3 here, but I'm going to do it slightly differently. You could times this equation to get these the same by 3, and this equation by 2, because then we're going to end up with this is a 6, and this is a 6. So, let's do that. Okay, so what we're going to end up with is... 6x, okay, this first equation, take away, 3 times 3 is 9y, and it equals 0, because nothing times 3 is nothing, and then 3 times, uh, 3x times 2 is 6x, uh, plus 2y, and it equals 44. Okay, so now what do we do? We then take one off the other, so the one I'm going to stuff around with is I'm going to make this one 
here negative. I'm going to make all these negative. Rather than actually changing them around too much, I'm going to go, that becomes minus, that becomes a plus. This doesn't change because 0 is 0. So 6x, take away 6x, is nothing. Uh, 2y and 9y, we get 11y, we're getting those together, and it equals 44. So if 11y is 44, you could probably guess, and hopefully you got the answer of y being 4. Okay, we'll substitute the values in. Try and do this a little bit quicker. I've just uh, got family, family coming home. <laughs> just what you want to hear. Okay, so what we uh, get is this. And so we substitute these values in. Uh, it, now we're gonna, I'm going to do it into the equation two here. So we end up with 3x plus y. So y is 4, and it equals 22. So taking 4 off both sides, we take 4 off here, we can take 4 off here, we end up with 3x equals 18, so x equals 6. Okay, one last, uh, one last one of these. Let's have a, oh God. so one last one of these. And that will be it, I would say. So, and then I'll, I'll make the other video, probably not straight away. <laughs> anyway, but it will be pretty quickly. So, the last one I'm going to do is a, a, probably the hardest one. And it's uh, where you're going to be stuffing around with, uh, you're going to have to change two lots of them. 7x plus 3y, and it equals 33. And then we end up with 3x plus 5y, and that equals... 29. So equation 1, equation 2, we're going to multiply this equation here. Okay, now looking at it, give it a go. Now, you, hopefully, what you did is I'm going to do this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change around for x. I'm going to multiply this equation by 3 because I'm going to end up with 21. I'm going to multiply this equation by 7. Okay, so what I end up with is equation 1, equation 2. Okay, 21x plus 9y equals 99 and 21x plus 35y equals what's 29 times 7 oh, hopefully you can work that one out hopefully if you work that out you get the answer of 203 so I'm going to change the signs here um, I'm going to change it on this one again it's a smaller one so this will become minus this will become minus and this will become minus so 21 take away 21 is nothing okay 35y take away 9y is 28y equals 203 take away 99 is 104 so 104 divided by 28 will give us our answer Okay, so hopefully the answer you're going to get when you do that is you will get y being equal to 4. We're going to substitute our values in. And this is what we'll get. Okay, um, so I'm going to substitute it in down here into equation 2 this time. Um, what we'll end up with is 3x plus 5y, so 5 times 4 is 20, and it equals 29. So taking 20 off both sides, we're going to end up with 3x equals 9, because we're taking this 20 off both sides. Therefore, x equals 3. Now, the link I'm going to put up, and I've been putting up throughout this video, is going to show you a different way of working these out. Okay? It's a way that you can actually uh, <laughs> not stuff around with this so much of having to multiply this and multiply that uh, as much as we do here. It's a way of really, really quickly working these out. But anyway, I hope that was of some help. Um, Anyway, see you next time.